explain it to worthless. You know, besides selling them to the trader. So it's like I told him, I was like, it'd be kind of cool if we can, you know, smelt it in our forge to make it into a dye to, you know, to use it, you know, like a dye to put it on our vehicles or to put it on our, our guns and, or, you know, or even maybe, you know, make it into a, like a paint to where we can paint our bases, you know, granted, I know that I didn't really say paint, but. I included bases in, you know, where they could figure something out. And I was like, you can even add sil the silver nuggets to it. You know, people can have traces, do, you know, they can use the silver nuggets for making a solar cell or use silver nuggets to, you know, smelt it into make it like a certain paint. You know, have a silver um like a silver plated gun or a gold plated gun or do both, you know, type thing. So I made a suggestion of that. I'm, you know, it was just a thought. I don't know if there's any modders out there that know how to do that or if there is a mod to do that. thing is is just, you, know, you came back and hearing about oh 20 minutes I'm logging out text her race there's a race on TV too that I'm watching which they're at Bristol and it's uh, the people that own Bristol I actually made a statement that because uh, normally in the springtime they'll put up like a bunch of fucking dirt on the racetrack and run a dirt track and then run the asphalt well the amount of people they've been getting and the amount of you know less people they're not getting in the springtime they made an announcement that it, next year they're going to run asphalt all year there won't be any more dirt at Bristol. Which is really nice. Server is back up, by the way. Oh, okay. But yeah, there is like a. There's an on the south side of that hole. There is a ladder. Like, just in case if someone does fall in, there is a ladder that they can get out of, at and whatnot. And I messed up yesterday. I logged out and forgot to shut everything off. So when I got that on a little bit ago, I had no wood, lumber in my uh, forges. I was out of gas in my generator. And, huh, lovely. Make some concrete. Could be playing at night time or, or whatever.
And I think he's been playing like late at night to where there's hardly anybody online. So when it, they do a horde night or they do a screamer farm, they're getting all the zombies. So they're getting mass XP. Set my, my fire pits anyway, not fire pits, my camp station up. So when it's done making my gunpowder, I'm making 10 stacks of gunpowder. Each stack is a thousand. Give me 10,000 gunpowder. I've got con, con I got rock constantly going into this forge. I had to make a separate box uh, just for rock. I got like three, the first top three rows are all stacks of 6,000 rock. The next two rows are stacks of five, which are 6,000. There's, it's five stacks of 6,000 rock. That's how much rock I got out of that, mining that frickin' hole over there. Besides the iron and the nitrate, but I'm in the midst of covering all that up so people don't be like, oh, there's nitrate down there. I need to go farm it. Or like the iron that's in the side. Oh, your favorite person's on. So I was wrong on the white day. Um, I thought it was this because you know before they were saying it's every two months, every other month, the first Friday of the month is what they what they said. Well, it got changed to where the wipe is on the third of next month, which is a Tuesday. So yeah.
Yeah, I need a highlight that. You cop take a screenshot of that and put it on this Discord. So I replanted my garden to how, because I, I really don't need to farm it anymore, but I replanted it for like, for my save, because I'm going to save it. I've got like one row of super corn, a row of corn, a row of potatoes, run a, a row of blueberries, a row of, uh, um, uh, whatever the, zuka fruit. Yeah, the yucca fruit, I mean, and a row of coffee. And then I planted 15 mushroom seeds on this, uh, mushroom spores on the sides of my, uh, planter boxes. So then I'm just gonna save it that way. I'll come up and gather water here and there, but that's about it. I really don't need to farm it anymore. I've got so much um, down below. I actually might make another suggestion about, you know, why can't we, you know, talk, you know, farm uh, like uh, green beans uh, or like peas and bean green beans and carrots, you know, adds to more of that cooking stuff. Hanging out, hanging out a little bit longer to right for another 10 minutes. Let my batteries freaking charge since I've killed them. I'd hook them up to my solar cell. I don't, I don't know if my solar will charge the batteries and make everything. I think it will. where it would like chart you know everything would uh, run off my batteries because I've got a bought a tier 5 solar cell the other day so I've got four sixes and one five. And I put out 140, 147 watts out of this thing. And I'm wondering if that's just how many wattage I put out to charge the batteries. That's the one thing I'm not sure about. It's export base, not base export. It's base export. I did base export and nothing came up yet. Oh, okay, it took a minute. There it is. Okay, good. I was 
was gonna get on last night after my race, and then I started. And then wife got home a little, little after eight, and then so I sat on the couch and watched TV with her. And she didn't fall asleep on the couch, so I didn't wanna. And my office is the next room over, so I didn't wanna wake her up. So I just didn't get on and play. Just watch TV and then. Went to bed. Ah. Same that you and Tope were on earlier. Earlier, so. No, right on. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's not supposed to, uh, unless he's an ally. Even though he's in, a, he, even though that they're in a party, they're not not supposed to be able to access those. But when you go to import your base, anybody will be able to access those. Oh wow, I would put a ticket in. Do you remember the dude's, do you remember the guy's name? Yeah. I would open the support ticket, in all honesty, and what I would do is like open the support ticket and be, and be like, you know, I was hosting Horde Night and, you know, this individual and put his name in there. He was trying to go through all, you know, like everything you just said and then be like, all of a sudden, you know, I realized after Horde Night, I was missing a spotlight. I logged on today. I'm missing an, an auto turret. And, you know, um, just let him know that and see if, you know, if by chance if he take it or did he, you know, type thing. Oh, oh, they can do everything. They can find out, you know, they're able to, like, if someone broke into your base and stole shit, they're able to find out who it is. And whatnot. Because on... You know, it's not enabled here in, in this server, but, um, like, 
you know, if, if you find something suspicious, you know, like on some servers, you can do slash who, and it'll tell you who's been in the area within the last 24 hours. But it's not enabled on the server, so an admin, they're able to do it. No, you shouldn't have to. And hosting, uh, hosting for Horde Night, most, most, almost everybody is respectful, you know, because you're given a place for them to do it. And then that's another reason why I don't like hosting, uh, is because of that scenario. Yeah. So. Like this new area that I'm building, um, I might get with uh, like Mo or you know even Geist and be like, hey, you know, I, I took this area over, I made the walls and the whole, all, you know all the floor reinforced steel. What would be a good idea for like a horde base? Something that you know if I wanted to host something, you know, this is the opportunity for a place to get you know for hosting. No, no auto turns, no nothing. It's just straight up gun power and everything's reinforced steel. And run it by them and see what they think and kind of do kind of like a joint type thing. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm not going to transport this board base. I just figured, you know, something, you know, work on something because I'm. I'm if I get the money saved up, yeah, I'm going to transfer my horde base and my main base. And then I'm, I am going to save my uh, my store. Uh, I'm going to save it. And so when I do come up with the money to actually put my store in next seed, I will. Because like right now I'm sitting on 14,000 credits. I need another 6,000. And that's just for my main base and my actual horde base. Or I might do my main base and my city base and just hang out with somebody else until I get my own base made. I haven't figured that out much yet. But yeah. Now you can do, like, if, if your base was, like, just your base and not your word base, you'd be able to do your base, your city, your city base, and a horde base because it, it takes it's ten thousand per base per land claim. But yeah, my flagpole gets half of it sticks out of the uh, land claim area but the base of it is in my land claim so i'm wondering that's like how you were talking the other day about uh you're worried about certain things that are 